Come sono Agata, è bello. Come in Sicily for the good life. Buongiorno Sicilia e tutto il mondo. I wonder where you think we are with the Canola Report today. Our president from Splendid Sicily, Giovanni Vallone, has asked me to do the Canola Report. This is the front of my home. And we are, where are we? We are in Sorrento, Victoria, Australia. My name is Carmela D'Amore and I'm an international Sicilian chef, ambassador to Sicilian food, and my purpose is in the preservation of the Sicilian culture through recipes, books, stories, and travel. I take people once a year to Sicily, and I take a, a group and we travel all through Sicily. Oh, we can go inside my home too. I could show you a little bit as well. That way you get to know like where you are coming. We Sicilians are very, very hospitable. I'll show you a, li a little bit of this is my kitchen. And my lounge room. And of course, mia mamma sempre diceva quando la gente vengono, vengono sempre dell'avanti. This is the front door. Dell'avanti incontra la gente e le porte nella cucina. In these images, we're walking in the town of Sciacca, located on the southern side of Sicily. There are a lot of elders playing bowls, bocce. And some of the elders are playing the Sicilian card game called Riscola. This is an ancient Sicilian card game. Sciacca is a town, a very old town, and still to this date, you can admire the ancient palaces since the 12th century. This is Terribinto, 1470, a medieval palace, and they call it a hosterium, which means fortified palace. The facade sposages, which are uncut stone, they resemble a shield, and the ground floor has no windows. The first floor is the aristocratic floor. It shows us its elegant maloon windows. And in this square, in Sciacca Piazza Scadagliato, a gorgeous balcony of the African Sea. It is a name given to the Mediterranean in this part of Sicily. And here in this piazza, you can enjoy a granita or a delicious pastel marinara or just simply immerge yourself in the Sicilian culture with the scent of the sea and the history it has to share with you. So the next time you see me I will be in my restaurant. Maybe hopefully we could do a little bit of the uh, the street and the beach. So thank you very much for joining me right now. Stay tuned. For any information, do not hesitate to contact our cultural department. We are available to all the world for anyone who desires Sicily. This is our mission. Now we take a walk in three small villages, ideal for buying a house at a very low price and living in Sicily. This is Nicolosi, Eastern Sicily, not even 7,000 inhabitants. Getaway to Etna. All the great travelers of the past have passed through this town as they climbed to the crater of the highest volcano in Europe. Today, it is a place with a cool climate and excellent restaurants. This is Mineo, Central Sicily, 
5,000 inhabitants. You are in the Sicily of oranges and wheat. Mineo is rich in ancient monuments, and in this area, it is said that there is a kind of philosophical fluid that continually inspires poets and writers. This is Piana degli Albanesi, Eastern Sicily, not even 6,000 inhabitants. Here, the largest cannoli in the world is made. There is a beautiful lake, and the population still retains the ancient Albanian customs, heart and peace. In all these places, you will find true Sicily, peace and hospitality. Splendid Sicily is your one-step shop for buying, selling, renovating, or renting a property in Sicily. If you would like to build a house, we have properties for sale and all the resources you will need to build your Sicilian dream home. So we're now driving up to Sorrento. I really wanted to show you a little bit of the road and why my family came and moved up this way because it reminded them of home. It reminded them of their hometown, Sicily. It's amazing how the water can connect you with home. This is called Port Phillip Bay. Ciao a tutti from splendid Sicily. This is Sorrento. You know what? You probably feel like you're in Italy or Sicily, hey? but you are in Sorrento, Victoria. And this is my restaurant all the way. I will show you the bulbi. I brought them from Sicily, from Palermo, and I've got them hanging. Can you see the Sicilian flag? Ha <laughs> ha, Sicilia vive noi. This is my husband, Marco. Hi, Hi everybody. And Marco came to Australia when he was five years old and he is from Palermo. And what what's your favourite food, Marco? Pane con la merusa. <laughs> it's a street food, but the only place you can get it is in Palermo, not Sicily, in Palermo itself. It's beautiful. The best street food ever. It's in my soul. I love it. Loves it. He had one every day. We were there two years ago. Uh, and we stayed for 30 days and he had 37. Panica Melza. And Marco's family came here when he was five years old and his father was Upanateri and he opened up the first bakery in Clifton Hill, Victoria. And then he moved up on the Mornington Peninsula and he opened up an Italian bakery and they used to make uh, Mafaldi Bastadura. Corone, uh, trece, filone, panini, pastadura. Um, I giambelli, yeah. i babà, i cannello, cannola. And so the connection to Sicily is more stronger and we feel uh, alive and we feel beautiful when we come home and see you all and be with you and oh, share yes. a meal and un pane camelza with oh, Marco. Yes. <laughs> On October 2nd, 1862, a mysterious crime occurred in Palermo, known as the story of the Palermo Stabbers, when 13 people are stabbed simultaneously in Palermo, in 11 more or less equidistant points. The description given of the stabs are similar, same built and same clothes. The victims of the stabbers are people of medium-low social level and of various ages, a boatman, a custom clerk, a tailor, etc. In the end, the killer is caught. Angelo D'Angelo, a 38 years old shoe shine from Palermo. Lo signore di una viscotta a con una bianca. God gives cookies to those who don't have teeth, which means that luck often happens to those who don't need it. This photograph is from the 1940s, and we see some women and children in front of a Sicilian farm. We see clothes hanging behind. We imagine the characteristic smell of chickens everywhere. There is a cart, perhaps for transporting food or grain. The women seem to be reading a letter from some distant relative. There are three things that you must eat when you come to visit Sicily. First one, you must have an arancina from the street food. 
there is nothing more succulent and more delicious than tasting a real traditional arancina. Second, you must try Insalada di Bolpo, which is a octopus salad. There is nothing like tasting an octopus salad fresh from the Mediterranean and the way that they do it in Sicily. You will never taste it anywhere else in the world. Number three, you have to try cannolo with the ricotta. You must. That three things to do when you come to Sicily. We'll see you in Sicily. Next week in Sicily, weather forecast mostly sunny throughout the island with some rare precipitation. Daytime temperatures above 25 degrees and therefore still guaranteed bathing in the sea. The sun rises around 6.50 a.m. and sets around 6.50 p.m. It is still time for granita, fresh octopus and squid, pumping flowers and prickly pears. And now let's come to the feast in Sicily, an island where you never miss an opportunity to leave the houses and celebrate something or someone, and to eat, and to observe and enjoy a true insight into Sicilian culture and customs. From October 1st to the 5th in the Splendid Taormina, the Tau Book will take place with cultural events that will be hosted in the wonderful scenery of one of the most beautiful cities in the world. On October 5th, the Feast of San Plagido in the town of Castel di Lucio. The Catania Book Festival will take place in Catania from October 8th to the 10th at the historic Palazzo Ardizzone Gioeni with internationally renewed orders, publishers and artists. <laughs> Ta-da! My beautiful flag is Sicily. The Canola Report to you this time has been brought to you by Carmela D'Amore in Sorrento, Victoria in the region of where we've settled, where a Sicilian family came and settled in Australia. But we still have very much connection and we still love Sicily more and more. It is a culture unlike any other. And you don't have to be born Sicilian like um, Giovanni said. You can just adopt to be Sicilian as well because you can take a person out of Sicily but you can't take Sicily out of the person. So I hope to see you another time. This is Carmela d'Amore. Grazie per il tuo tempo. Uh, guardare a, nos, a noi e sentire la nostra storia e la storia penso che sarà anche la tua. Grazie a tutti, grazie Giovanni, un saluto alla Sicilia e a tutti le siciliane del mondo. Arrivederci.